weapons. Kenya had deployed under 3,000 troops to seal off Al Shabaab strongholds in the massive and rough terrain. They were the best Kenyan weapon against and insurgents that had threatened um, at that time. But Al Shabaab continued to target Kenya. A year later, another KDF base in Kulbio was hit by Al Shabaab with dozens of soldiers killed. Cross border attacks had reached the boiling point and so Kenya invaded Somalia to pursue the terrorists. Against Kenya, it was inevitable Kenya would fight back. On his orders, Kenyan soldiers began strikes against Al Shabaab militants and them. And Kenya knew that the only way to secure her borders was to ensure the group's funding and structure is cut off. In the air, and of course, the deployment of NIS. The attack was relying on... We were very angry, but um, 20 minutes after that, we saw the the air power. Now we saw the, the, the YY helicopters came and started uh, firing the enemy from above. Gunship hit terrorist target with stunning accuracy. While about five kilometers away, soldiers on the ground prepared for the final march. While that of commanders and divers was undertaken in Mkunguni between September 18th and 23rd, 2012. While that of commanders and divers was undertaken in Mkunguni between September 18th and 23rd, 2012. Before the defining raid, the Kenya Defense Forces had conducted tactical estimates and arrived at three courses of action. The first one was the capture of Kismayo through Kulbio Husingo and Bulahaji. Second one through Kulbio, Dalayet, Wadajir and Bulahaji. or through the Indian Ocean using amphibious landing at Jirole through Kulbio, Manda Indian Ocean and Bulahaji. 
and an air component. So uh, at that time, at least we, 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 we managed to neutralize the enemy. Uh, nearly all of them were killed. So the helicopters went back to the camp. 